Hello. So in this video, let's put dimensions in foundation plan view. So let's go to foundations, plan views. So they are in structure plan section. And let's put uh, dimensions first in foundation pile plan. And later, let's try to make and, and put dimensions in the main foundation plan. So the main task of foundation dimensions is to uh, show the position in which foundations are located. Uh, so for the piles, I will just put dimensions and connect them to my grid lines. So these are on the grid lines. Okay. And let's say one of the dimensions can be out of the grid lines. So in this case, I should put uh, dimensions to represent uh, also to this direction. Next elements which I will put is elevation, elevation. So I put XY dimensions for my foundation. And next part is elevation dimensions. So in elevation dimensions, uh, I don't, okay, I will put shoulder. And you choose which kind of elevation you would like to see. So let's try to use one of these uh, project tag. And let's try to put top elevation and I select my pile and I put the top elevation of my pile. So let's check what other dimension types I have in here. So I can use maybe such dimension and of course I can make duplication and uh, I can put uh, some description. So for the top indication, uh, I can write letter top and I understand what this represents top elevation of my foundations. So let's use uh, this version. Let's put text inside here. And let's say I want to make maybe some changes and I will put it 100 in other direction. So you see it's changes. And also I can make top and bottom. And in this case, I modify and for bottom part, B letter represents bottom part. And from project base point, so you should put elevations from project base point. And this uh, table around my dimension, of course, you can modify the template of this tag. It would be better if this table goes around or you just uh, use no symbol. Looking maybe like this. But this one looks better because it's a correct textile according to ISO standards. Next, let's go to main foundation plan. And in here, our task is to connect our foundations to the grid lines. Also, I can put and show what are the 
main dimensions of my foundations. And here I have foundation slab, so I just tap and connect it to my outer grid lines. And if dimension doesn't have space between two dimension lines, so I need to put it outside. Okay, and for these continuous dimensions, foundations, I just show main length. Also, I should connect it to grid lines and maybe can show additional level to show all length of these dimensions. Next, I the same I do here. So let's show all the dimension and let's connect it. And we can show distance And of course, uh, dimensions should show what are the distance between grid lines. So practically in all of the drawings, dimensions should show distance between grid lines. And later you put dimensions for each object separately. And in here I should put these dimensions and show what is with the, the total and how it's connected to dimension lines. In this case, I have the same distance. Well, okay, so main dimensions are here, and also some dimensions I should put also in this location. And now it looks 